What's up, all you beautiful people out there? So we're doing another lunchtime review, and this time we're going to BK. Yes, we have the ghost pepper whopper and the ghost pepper chicken fries. I'm hoping these things are good because I don't I don't typically go to Burger King. Uh, just because they kind of don't usually do that great of a job, but let's see how these, oh, this looks so pathetic, but, <clears throat> okay, here's the ghost pepper whopper, an orange bun with, looks like some sort of sauce on there, maybe that's a ghost pepper sauce, and then, I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's bacon on there, and some, I don't know what these are, crispy pickles, maybe? Well, let's get this over with, because, one, I don't think it's going to be that spicy. I mean, if, if I'm just judging based on how this this food looks, don't look like it's going to be anything that impresses me. So, anyways, it's food, so thank you, God, for this food. Please bless it and my body. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's give this a whirl. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and share this video. Now back to the video. Wow. First bite. Incredibly dry. Mommy, my Krabby Patty tastes funny. Well, no wonder. It's all old and dried out, like that man right there. Now put that thing where it belongs, in the garbage. What a dry. Kind of flavorless burger. You lose! Good day, sir! There's a teeny bit of heat. I'm not really sure where the heat's coming from. It's literally difficult to chew. This is why I don't typically go to Burger King. Because even though their food can be good, they normally give you very I guess that's par for the course. It doesn't have any kind of real unique flavor to it. Nothing that stands out that makes me want to really ever get it again. Besides for the fact that it's spicy. It might be a, a little bit spicy for someone who's not accustomed to spicy food. You know, it might be, it might be a good level of spice for a lot of people. It definitely has that ghost pepper kick. I'll, I'll just say that much. As a positive, it's got the ghost pepper kick. Now, here's these ghost pepper chicken fries. It looks like they've been sitting in... They've been sitting in their warmer for... Who knows how long. Kind of... Let's give this a try. I'll try it without the barbecue sauce first. Lukewarm. It's basically like uh, the spicy nuggets or the ghost pepper nuggets they had. Just chicken fries. Not bad, but not great. This is why, again, I typically don't go here. But because there was spice involved in a product... And I, being a person who loves spicy foods and likes to see what, uh, you know, companies want to present, I was interested. You know, one place that when they have their spicy option is Arby's that makes a really good uh, spicy roast beef sandwich. That's really good. 
But again, that's why I typically don't go. And I wouldn't recommend you trying it unless you know that the Burger King you're getting it from is going to make everything fresh for you. Then that might elevate it to a better level. And I was even starving hungry. So the fact that I'm really hungry and I'm not really into this right now, that tells you a lot. Good job, Burger King. Burger King. Anyways, um... Uh, guys, I've got an announcement to make. We made it to 200 subscribers. So if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see for the 200 celebration video, drop it in the comments below. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video. Love you guys. Stay safe. God bless each and every one of you. And don't forget, thanks for watching, and maybe skip going to Burger King.